decline in tourism because of the events that have shaped up in recently in Pakistan? Yes, there's a big decline here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Pakistan is a peaceful country and uh, maybe in some certain parts there are some problems but most of the country is peaceful and uh, we strongly recommend the tourists that they should come into Pakistan and Pakistan is a beautiful country with beautiful architecture and with very friendly people and uh, we have beautiful culture and bazaars are beautiful. <laughs>turbulent history since its very inception. This is our 60 odd years and if we had bombs today, we had uh, uh, nuclear holocaust uh, issues from our neighboring countries a few years before that. We had prime ministers and presidents being shot before that and we had coups and whatnot happening before that. I don't think we should sit here and be all sad and uh, uh, docile about the fact that now our country is going to the dogs and we shouldn't do anything. Problems will come. Perhaps there's more of a focus in the international media on the problems there are in Pakistan. I don't know any other country that does not have their share of problems. Take the United States, the United Kingdom for that matter. They have their own share of problems and plenty of them. It's just that we don't tend to focus on them so much. Always ask what has terrorism done for Pakistan. Yeah. I think terrorism has really put us on the map um, without sounding horrific. But really, um, terrorism has brought this country um, into people's textbooks, okay. into uh, it's people write about us, people now know about us. Do you think this is going to show a positive side of Pakistan like it has in Karachi? Yeah, um, I really do. I mean, um, for heaven's sake, we, we do have a positive side to us also. And for some reason, that's never projected or portrayed in the international media. You know what? People all over the world should know a little bit more about Pakistan and what's happening here. Because there's so much more happening than just bomb blasts. And we really need to know that and show the world what, pa what more there is to Pakistan. All, everybody thinks that uh, we are from we're Taliban based, yeah. mad people who hide. And they don't know, they, they don't know nothing about passion, they don't know about Pakistani talent. And women in Pakistan love dressing up, okay? So this is like a home, everyone's a designer here. It's also about unity. It's also about solidarity that we are um, not only in the fashion world, but also politically. That's a big question for Pakistan right now identity, solidarity and the crisis, political crisis. So despite all that, we are fighters, we're fighting back. It's going to be bloody. That's the only way it will actually anything will, will, will happen. They'll make so it. It's one of the best places to live okay. if uh, things are just a little bit more stable. Yeah, stable. The only thing Pakistan lacks right now is stability. That's it. Otherwise, we are one of the best nations in the world, without a doubt. So I think what we need to do, as not just as musicians, as, 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 as people, is <coughs> just be sure about what we want in the first place. I don't think we're sure about that in the first place. Okay. So music, I feel, can play a positive role. But under these circumstances, it really holds no significance until we don't know what we have to do. हमें कोई हालात नहीं हम तो आगे ही रोड पे बैठे हैं हमें कोई दहशत गर्दी का कोई नहीं हमारे पास ना पैसा है हां जी ना हम कोई किसी का डर है ठीक है रोटी मिल गई तो खा ली नहीं तो बस बैठे हैं हमारे से भी दहशत गर्दों ने क्या लेना आई गेट मोर कमिटेड एवरी डे एंड माय कमिटमेंट कम्स फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दीस बारबेरिक एक्ट्स दैट दीस टेररिस्ट्स आर डूइंग आई फील मोर कमिटेड दैट आई हैव टू कम टू स्कूल I feel more committed that I have to teach and I feel more committed that we have to fight against this terrorism. And if everybody sits at home, this is what they want to do. They want an absolute closure to everything. Many people uh, outside Pakistan perceive that, you know, there's bombs, uh, there's going to be a bomb blast and people won't come back. Like my khala, you know, who's coming from Canada, you know, she experienced the same thing. People were like, uh, will you be even coming back? But um, 
it's it's not that bad here really it's usually not that bad and uh, it's going to inshallah get better because it has most of times when people hurt there is a bomb blast for at least 3 to 4 days your business is down and if you can see it from a common perspective and let's suppose if i am a regular restaurant going person and if i heard about the terrorism and heard about a bomb blast especially in the main city and if we're sitting together and closely then i'll be a bit afraid You know, it's increasing again and again. It's it's become a regular thing to have two to three bombings a week, and it just makes you angry. Not at just the people who are doing this, but at yourself because you're kind of you're helpless. You can't really do much about it. And my, so all I wanted, I wanted to be a painter, and I wanted to be a teacher, and that's why I came back. And uh, school se, to unke school se takriban seven hundred meters. के फासले पर एक धमाका हुआ है अस्करी बैंक में चशावर में तो अस्करी बैंक के सामने किसी गाड़ी खड़ी थी तो वहाँ पर ब्लास्ट हुआ और विद इन फाइव मिनट्स मैंने लोग देखे कि वो भी अपने बच्चों को लेने आ रहे थे तो किसी की गाड़ी के शीशे टूटे हुए हैं किसी के यहाँ से खून आ रहा है लेकिन उनको ये खून की नहीं पड़ी वो कहते बस मैं अपने छोटे बच्चों को सिक्योर करूँ वो जा रहे and three of them are they're not teenagers they they're young and they could see body parts lying inside in their garden and they were scared or my attitude would be to this is that if if they think that this this is what would stop us from be, moving forward it's not happening see so it, and if this is what's going to make us stay home and lock our doors and let let them get to whatever they want to get to they are going to see a lot more bloodshed if they have the patience to deal with it we certainly do have Hi everyone Allah Hafiz and remember ask yourself this question every single day what have you done for your country today it's just become so much of everyday life to us that in order to continue living and in order to not uh, you know i don't know in order to just not lose hope not lose spirit which i think is a very it, it's very, it's something that's very very internal to the pakistan it's it's just this thing being a pakistani citizen it gives you that kind of hope i think a lot i think the pakistani population in general is a very hopeful population they're a very optimistic population they can, i think we are perhaps one of the only population that can actually joke it's happening to us and we can actually joke about it i it's it's just a, like my my brother cracks these jokes all the time he have, he has this joke yesterday i was like oh I, you know i should go on a diet and he's like you know you could get blown up in a bomb blast any time you wouldn't want to die dieting and i said like, yeah that's true So I don't know when this ends but I just hope that it doesn't kill the optimism in us.